What's good? Dark Knight Gang and this thing I'm burning. Today I'm about to do a video from Get a Job. And this one right here is Donald Trump Savage Moments 2020. Y'all requested it, don't trip you now. I got y'all. We about to see the president and his savage moments. This should be hilarious. Donald Trump, what's, what's up with the stimulus number two, my guy? Are we getting paid or what? <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. Um, me personally, I'm not heavy into politics. I'm gonna keep it a stack. I don't necessarily pay too much attention to it. I tried to get into it, but it's like, shh, shh, I just don't care for it, bro. I really, you could call me a conspiracy theorist, but that's fine. But I really feel like the president doesn't have that much power. You know what I'm saying? I really feel like corporations and the banks and the ones that have all the money, they're the ones that really control politics. Like, what is it called? When you lobby for something. They be paying politicians off and stuff. So it's like, do you really think politicians have control like that? You know what I'm saying? That's just me personally. So that's why I never really tried to get into it. Because I'm like, man, to be honest, it don't really matter. I don't understand. It's the people behind the scenes. But we about to see Donald Trump's savage moments. I'm not going to lie. Donald Trump is racist. Um, Yeah, this is going to be hilarious. Let's go. Fort Bragg is a big deal. We won two world wars. Nobody even knows General Bragg. We won two world wars. Go to that community where that? Fort Bragg is in a great state. I love that state. Go to go to the community. Say, how do you like the idea of renaming Fort Bragg? And then what are we going to name it? You're going to name it after the Reverend Al Sharpton? What are you going to name it, Chris? Tell me what you're going to name it. Why do you bring Al Sharpton into this? We have the seventh Hello, highest Red. mortality rate in the world. Our mortality rate is higher than Brazil. It's higher than Russia, and the European Union has us on a travel ban. Well, we have them on a travel ban too, Chris. I closed them off. If you remember, I was the one that did the European Union very early. But when you talk about mortality rates, I think it's the opposite. I think we have one of the lowest mortality it's rates true, in the sir. world. We, well, we, would you have the numbers, please? Y'all yeah, about to say the numbers don't say that, bro. He gonna say after these numbers. Number, number one low mortality rate. Right? I hope you show the scenario because it shows what fake news is all about. Okay, okay I don't ahead. think I'm fake news, but okay. I will we'll put, well, we'll put our stats you on. You said we had the worst mortality rate in the world, and we have the best. Had. Oh, we have the best. I didn't know that. Fake news, huh? No, Trump. Day, get right. out, get the parents, get the friends, get the husband, get the wife, get everybody. Now, the difference is they get everybody, even if they're not registered, if they're not citizens. <laughs> wow. If they're here illegally, they get everybody. We believe that the beloved heroes of American history should not be torn down by militant mobs, but held up as an example to the world. Now they're after George Washington. I said, what did he do wrong, George Washington? Thomas Jefferson, we stopped them. They were heading toward the Jefferson Memorial. They have, they couldn't care less. I think half of them don't even know who Thomas Jefferson is. Damn, why are you take it? Shut up. You know why I want you. Because the country in the end, All right, they're not going to have a man who, who's shot. He's shot. He's mentally shot. Let him come out of his basement, go around. I'll make four or five speeches a day. I'll be interviewed by you. I'll be interviewed by the worst killers that hate my my guts they hate my guts there's nothing they can ask me that i won't give them a proper answer to some people will like it some people won't like I it i agree with that but look <laughs> you let, answer the let questions. biden sit through an interview like this he'll be on the ground crying for mommy he'll say mommy mommy please take me home <laughs> hey this dude so i'm only here because of president <laughs> Obama hey they really be shooting on each other though and sleepy joe biden they the really be shooting do other than he did a good job for his son. Do a good job for his son. Ten they, days after the first identified they, case Rose of coronavirus in the United States, right. you implemented a travel ban, followed by a quarantine that had not happened in 50 years, and then subsequent travel bans. Joe said it was hysteria, xenophobic. He never said xenophobic, because I don't think he knows what the word means. I, I'll do it. I'll do it. I knew who was about to say that. A lot of governors are here, and uh, some we're going to leave out. Because <laughs> I don't like them. Uh, just a quick question about that. So you haven't made any contact. Hey, can I run for president when I'm like 40 years old? I, I will say that. Okay. Uh, we have a good relationship 45, with 50. North Korea. As good as you can have. I mean, we have a good relationship with North Korea. And I think it was a fake report done by CNN. So can I ask you a question? Damn, he took the 
nigga. Hey, hey, at least if the president is letting y'all know, CNN doing fake news, what does that let you know? No, not CNN. Don't talk to me. Go ahead. Bro, if the president, listen to what I'm saying, my guy. I, that's why I be saying I hope y'all not getting your news from like Fox, CNN, and stuff like that. If the president is literally saying, oh, that's fake news, why are you watching it and believing what they tell you? The president is even saying it's fake news, bro. On People be thinking he's shooting, but he actually tells it. That's facts, though. Hi, Mr. President. Yummy yeah, shouts on the repeat news hour. Uh, um, on the campaign trail, uh, you called yourself called? a nationalist. Some people saw that as emboldening white nationalists. Now people are also I saying that say the president. Such a racist there question. There are some people that say that yeah. now the Republican Party is seen as supporting white nationalists oh, because of your rhetoric. What do you make of that? I don't believe. It. I just well, I don't know. Why do I have my highest poll numbers ever with African Americans? Why do I have among the highest that poll numbers kind of crazy to with me. African Americans? <laughs> That's such a racist question. Honestly, I mean, I know you have it written down and you're going to tell me. Let me tell you, it's a racist question. And Mr. Uh, President, I, I love, ask... you know what the word is? I love our country. I do. You call, you have nationalists, you have globalists. And I don't mind helping the world, but we have to straighten out our country first. We have a lot of problems. And this... We do have a lot of problems. Shifty shift for nothing. He's a shifty, dishonest guy who, by the way, was critical of one of the great secretary of states, graduated number one in his class at West Point, graduated top of it, one of the top in his class at Harvard Law School, the most honorable person, Mike Pompeo. And this guy was negative on Mike Pompeo. He can't, you know, there's an expression, he couldn't carry his blank strap. I won't say it because they'll say it was so terrible to say. But that guy couldn't carry his blank strap. Do you understand that? His bootstrap? I don't know. That one went over my head. Jokes don't usually go over my head, but it is what it is. I'll be the first one to admit it. Hold on. Okay, so I guess him saying that was kind of rude. Did you see how shook, uh, was that old boy, Kim Jong-un? Hold on. Getting a good picture of everybody, so they look nice and... Beautiful. Young. Young. <laughs> the whole world looks shook like, ain't no way I look dead. Oh! Nah, let me stop. Because almost everything the Washington Post does is fake. It's a fake newspaper. It's owned by a rich guy for the purposes of giving him power uh, in Washington. So these two reporters wrote this book. And they said, I want to moat with alligator snakes, electrified fences, so people get electrocuted you if they so talk much about as touch Washington the fence news? and spikes on top. It was a lie. Just so you have it, you asked the question. It was a total lie. It was corrupt reporting, okay? I don't even use fake anymore. I call the fake news now corrupt news because fake isn't tough enough. And I'm the one that came up with the term. I'm very proud of it. But I think I'm going to switch it largely to corrupt news. No, that's fact. They corrupt, are corrupt. Corrupt media just... in this country. And it truly is the enemy of the people. Thank you very much. Hey, this dude speaking facts, though. Uh, so tomorrow with the fake news, here's your headline. Here's your headline. You know, we have thousands of people outside wanting to get in, they can't, because you people got here first. But, so here's your headline tomorrow. Protesters disturb the rally. One protester, a very weak I voice. Can't I, I still just can't believe how much power this racist buff has. Like, that is crazy to me. Listen, me personally, I don't know, dude. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, he's clearly a racist when it comes to Muslims and Mexicans. Like, it, that ain't cool, bro. You got to love everybody, you know? So, that's the that's the main thing I have against him. Now, she's going home to His followers, you can't control your followers, you feel me? His followers, they all racist. Make America great again. They don't like black people or, or anybody if you're not white. Because I guarantee you. I can't necessarily say that for Trump, though. Because Trump has done some things, you know, for some minorities, bro. So that's what I'm saying, like, people look at his following, and because since they hella racist, they're like, make America great again, and all, only whites. You know, a lot of people also put that on him. But, I don't know how he feels towards, like, blacks. I don't know, bro, I don't know. But he still is a racist, though, when it comes to Mexicans and uh, Muslims. Mom oh, yeah. voted for Trump. 
But he is hilarious. This dude is pretty funny. I ain't gonna lie. Look at the world we live in. Our president is a comedian, bro. Up dead. And in 10 years from now, when I run yet again, she'll be voting for Trump too. We drive them crazy. We drive them crazy. They say, you know he's not leaving, don't you? He's never leaving. They say he's going to win, he's never gonna leave. You know, these people, it's called Trump derangement syndrome. It really is, they are. They are so cool. The radical left demands absolute conformity I wouldn't, from every funny, professor, but he's still researcher. Talking to me. I, I knew like the presidents talk mess about each other, but like, I ain't know they go like this. Like this kind of funny. Corporation, entertainer, politician. This is supposed to be our leader. Speaker. This is hilarious. They are vicious people. Look, they have one goal: understand. the pursuit of their own political power. This is hold on. All right, let me put it into perspective. <laughs> when other countries look at America, they say, this is your leader. This is the guy that leads y'all. That's what I'm saying. It's hilarious. Funny little video. The president is low-key a savage. One of the most savage presidents I've ever seen or heard of, I guess. I'm sure he will go down in the history books. But like I said, it's just funny to think, like, this is the guy that represents us, bro. <laughs> the guy that represents all of us, bro. Like... Yeah, let me know what y'all thought down in the comments. I'm gonna see y'all next time. Are y'all voting? Let me know. Me, am I voting? Yeah, yeah, we'll see. It's a toss up. Peace.